my mind was just like not in it today and so i just needed a break Welcome back to my channel. My name is Amelia Danielle. And if you are new here, I am active duty army. I am a warrant officer. I have two kids, two stepchildren, and I have been married for 10 years last October. I have two American bullies, one named Charlie and one named Star. And so I am in my bathroom recording for one, because I want to show y'all everything that I got from Ulta today. And then for two, because I want to take my hair down. And for three, and the lighting in my bathroom is just way brighter than it is in any other room in the house i don't know what's going on with the weather as y'all can see i have on a hoodie um it was hot i would say like in the 70s like last week and monday and tuesday but today is wednesday january the 31st and the temperature has dropped significantly we turned on the ac and now today when i walked in i had to turn the heat back on and put on a hoodie because it's cold in the house but if y'all are new please make sure y'all click on that subscribe button if you have any questions please leave them down below and do not forget to like this video and if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much for coming back and rocking with me and so i left work early today y'all I left work early. Um, the last time I took leave was in November. I went to Aspen. Today is our last day being in Aspen. And it was my best friend's birthday. And if y'all want to see that video and are thinking about going on a trip to Aspen and you want to um, plan some things, figure out what to say, then I will leave that video down below if you are interested in going to Aspen. And the last time that I was able to take leave was the beginning of November, like the first week of November, cause my friend's birthday was November the 8th. And so since I came back from my trip, I have just been on go, 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 go. It was Thanksgiving, it was Christmas, it was New Year's. We have been doing a lot as far as like turning in equipment and stuff like that. And so I know if you are new to my video um, or new to my channel, y'all might not understand some of the things I am talking about, but y'all know how we are when we go to work and we have like a ritual. I pretty much do the same thing every day. So today I was like mentally out of it. And I, I, I was mentally out of it on Monday because on Monday um, it was just, so busy. Mondays are extremely busy for me. I came in, I had like 20 emails. I had to respond to all of those emails. Um, a unit had a building. They had to pick up some equipment. So I went with them to go do that. 
and I have two change of commands going on right now and so I'm constantly being called text email and today which is Wednesday I was sitting at my computer and I was just like I'm tired. Jaden had a basketball game last night and we didn't get home until like maybe 10. I made him some soup and a grilled cheese sandwich and so I didn't go to bed until like maybe 11. Um, somebody's calling me. Let's see. It's Jaden. <clears throat> Hello? Hey mom. Yes. Is it okay if Matt and my friend Ty from the basketball team, basketball team come inside? Yes. What y'all about to do? Nothing. Y'all gonna come inside and do what? Nothing. So y'all are already here? No. What time y'all have to go to practice? 5 30. Oh, well, yeah, I'll be here. Yes, ma'am. All right, bye. Bye. So the game was really close last night. The score was 55 to 53. And so I came home, fixed Jada some soup and a grilled cheese. And I didn't go to bed until like 11. So this morning when I got up, you know, I was like moving a little slow. Um, I did go get me some coffee though from the morning jump. That is my favorite place to get coffee from. But once I made it to the office, I had, you know, 20 more emails. Um, and I was just responding kind of like basic. And I knew at that point because I started surfing the internet, I started looking on YouTube and I was just like, hmm. And my OIC was just like, hey chief, are you good? And I was just like, I'm just tired. Like, I need to take leave. Like. I'm mentally not here, you know, today. I have to go um, pick Phoenix up from tutoring today. I have to go do this, I have to go do this. I said, so do you not mind if I leave a little early today? And he was like, yeah, sure. So if y'all ever feel yourself getting to that point, then just make sure y'all take a day off to yourself to do whatever it is to get you to mentally reset and bring you back in on what it is that you are doing so you can make sure that you are performing at work like you're supposed to and being a wife being a mom going to basketball games going to basketball practices working out three or four times a week it is exhausting even paying bills can be exhausting <clears throat> getting gas can be exhausting um because no one likes to pump their own gas you know what i'm saying like i don't know about y'all but i know i don't i just i don't know it's just a lot of things are getting repetitive and I'm starting to feel myself getting a little irritated. And so today I went to Ulta for one because these nails, these nails y'all, these nails look a hot mess. And so I went to Ulta because I want to take the nails off and I want to do some press-ons. But, but when I got to Ulta and I was looking at all the different options, they didn't have anything like really military friendly for me to wear to work. And so on Saturday, I am going to get my nails taken off and I'm also going to get my brows done because my brows y'all, I don't know if y'all can see, but I did a reel on my TikTok and my Instagram. And if you go to my Instagram, it is Amelia G558 seven and my TikTok is Amelia Danielle three and y'all can see like my brows they have not been waxed plucked tweezed all of that for like two months and the last time I got my hair redone or retwisted was November the 20th and so I'm not going to go get a retwist but I will be taking my hair down or taking my twist out um um this is Chris Phoenix getting on the van today no he's not he's staying for tutoring today Okay, all right, um, Miss Barbara just wanted to know and I'll let her know, okay? Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. Okay, bye-bye. Okay. So, being a mom, being a wife, <laughs> taking care of all of these things kind of had me in like a mood today and I just did not need to be in the office because for one I didn't want to have an attitude for two I wasn't performing I was basically surfing and I was quick with the emails but I am going to reset this weekend I'm going to get my brows done I'm taking these nails off and I'm not going to get my hair or my locks retwisted but um I am going to take them out because they have been in these two strand twists since November the 20th and um all I can say is if you feel yourself getting to that point, make sure you take a day off. Go get a massage, um, go get a new book, sit in a quiet place and read, meditate. I have been meditating a lot lately and that has helped. Um, write things down. If you feel like you are all over the place, um, get a journal or get a diary and write some of the things that you need to do and accomplish. Have some long-term and short-term goals. Don't try to be like everybody else that you see on social media as far as like Instagram and TikTok. 
out because if you have a nine to five job and it is not social media, you will get overwhelmed. And so I find myself peeling back or scaling back from social media when it when I feel like I'm getting overwhelmed because I do actually have a nine to five job and I'm taking care of my kids. Of course, my husband helped, but we have a lot going on as far as like being a family. But today I went to Ulta and I want to show y'all the things that I picked up. And then on the back end, I'm going to show y'all what my locks are looking like because I hit four years, December the 24th, 2023. So let's go ahead and jump into what we have in this Ulta bag. So when I went to Ulta, my intentions were to get some press-ons because my nails look bad and I wanted to get some new facial cleanser for my skin. But then when I thought about it and I started looking at everything, Ulta and everything nowadays, not just Ulta, is on the expensive side. And I already have Bipirin that I am using on my skin and so I want to use that first. And then um, once I run out of different, I'll switch it up and find something new. But I have been trying to um, figure out which facial cleanser is better for my skin because I have been getting like dark spots when I get my cycle and they are not cute. And I just need a cleanser that helps with acne. Um, I don't really have acne. I don't really have acne that bad. It's just when I get a cycle, I end up getting a pimple. And it's due to hormone chain, hormone, hor hormonal changes and so I'm aware of that but I still don't want to end up getting a spot from the pimple once my cycle and everything goes off and so I went to Ulta to get some press-ons and I went to get some facial cleanser but I walked out of Ulta with completely different things didn't get no press-ons and didn't get no facial cleanser but I do want to show y'all what I got a new spa headband my old one is like the color is gone it was pink but it, it now looks white and so I got a new spa headband I was like $8.99 altogether I spent a hundred dollars in Ulta I also got me some scrub gloves because I love to exfoliate my skin after I shave especially like my legs I feel like after I shave my legs they feel like a little itchy and so I exfoliate with using these and I also use body scrub and so I got some new exfoliation gloves and y'all comment down below on how often y'all change out y'all gloves because maybe I'm tripping I feel like I change these gloves out like every three or three or four weeks nothing over a month because when you are using these constantly all that dead skin and stuff like we use a different washcloth and towel every day and I know this is different but y'all let me know if I should change these out before three to four weeks or y'all tell me how long y'all are using y'all exfoliation gloves but these were what 350 and so the price is not that bad so I think changing them out you know weekly or every two weeks may not be that bad for the cost but again y'all comment down below and let me know how long y'all use y'all exfoliation gloves I also got this wake up brightening vitamin C body scrub. I have never used this product before. I usually use Dr. Till's exfoliation scrub. Try this out and I will let y'all know down below in the comments how I like it. I also got this African black soap. I used to use this and it made my skin feel dry because I have oily skin and that's what I like. And so to help with reducing the oily skin that I have, I decided to get this and this was $6.99. I also got some Dr. Till's sleep, sleep Spray Melatonin Sleep Blend in the scent Lavender and Chamomile and it helps promote a better night's sleep. Now, I do use Dr. Till's like body oil and I even have a Dr. T Dr. Till's candle. I also use Dr. Till's body scrub. I've never used this before, but I said, I'm pretty sure this is gonna help me sleep so much better at night. And I take a Benadryl too, so. This says how to use. Use Dr. Till's multi-purpose sleep spray at bedtime in four different ways to enhance your sleep routine. In the shower, on pillows and bedding, on your body, and in the bedroom. I can't remember how much this costs, but I will link it down below because I have the receipt in my bag. So yes, all together I spent $103.24. I also have a shower flower steamer in the scent of rose. I've seen some of these on TikTok and I just have been meaning to get some. And I know they sell them like in a bundle on Amazon, but this was only like three bucks and so I just decided to pick up one. And last but not least, I got the Ariana Grande Cloud Pink Perfume. And when I tell you this perfume smells so good, y'all, 
the perfume had me on clouds. And so I understand why she named it this because it just smells really good. It's bomb.com y'all. And this scent was 48 bucks. And so I'm going to show y'all the bottle because I like the way perfume bottles look. And so if y'all are interested, let me go ahead and take it out the package. This is how the front of the box look. And this is the back. And this is how the perfume looks. It's really, really cute. Perfume sitting on a cloud in a pink bottle. So it is called, like I said, Cloud Pink. And I thought this was very, very cute. And again, it smells really, really good. And so that's pretty much everything that I got from Ulta. I paid $103.24. And next, I am going to go ahead and take my hair out. After I take my hair out, I have to pick Phoenix up. He is doing math tutoring today. And I also have to go to Sam's and pick up a online order and then after that i have some work that i have to catch up on i brought work home y'all and so that's what i'm saying like i need to reset like i was looking at all those papers and i was like i'm gonna just take this home and do it because it's not gonna get done while i'm sitting in this office my mind was just like not in it today and so i just needed a break um but yeah i'll go ahead and take my hair out i have to pick this up from tutoring at 4 30. Go get my Sam's order and then finish doing some work that I have in my car. And that's pretty much it for today's video. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Thank you so much again for returning to my channel. If you are a returning subscriber and if you are new, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button.
It's Thursday, February the 1st, 2024, and I'm not sure if I said it, but Happy New Year and Happy 2024. I felt like 2023 just went by so fast, but last night as I was taking my hair, or yesterday evening, because it was around like maybe four, I started taking my hair loose or my locks loose, and I noticed that my hair doesn't look that bad. And so I was like, should I wait to take these out? I think I'm going to wait another week, and then I also plan on taking some photos for Valentine's Day, and so I I think I'm going to show y'all then but right now my hair is just looking too fresh still um and I don't want to waste taking my locks out because when I untwist them um for me sweating and going to the gym and stuff a lot my hair tends to get puffy and frizzy and right now it does not look as frizzy as it usually would be because I always tie my hair up when I work out and stuff anyway and so I think I'm going to give it another week and then I'm going to take my two strand twists out and so I apologize for you know saying that I was going to take them out and show y'all how they look and then you know reneging I guess you can say from doing that but these um but this is how they look when you untwist them. I took out, I think, two or three. And so I'm just going to leave the rest alone. I'm going to finish getting ready for work. Um, I have to go get the work from out of my car because I didn't do it last night and finish doing that. The time is currently... 7.59 and so I'm gonna try to leave the house by 8 30. I'm gonna fix me a bagel, um, do the work. The perfume smells really really good and the lip gloss that I use is called Heat by Fenty Beauty. The scrub that I used last night and this morning called Wake Up was not all of that. I'm just saying I felt like I wasted my money and I will continue using the Dr. Till's scrub, body scrub, because I like that. And then I also use the sleep spray in the shower last night and this morning and it smelled amazing the shower rolls didn't really do too much i mean it smells okay but it didn't give me like a you know i need to have type of vibe and so my recommendation is to not get it um i seen it on tiktok and i decided to grab it because it was only 350 and i have training at 11 15 i have to be seated we have warrant officer leaders training today it's from 11 15 to 1500 and so i Think I am going to stop by the shop it and grab me something. I actually have something down downstairs that I can grab. I can grab a snack on um, because I'm not sure if we will have a break. Make sure I have my notepad and then the training ends at 1500. That's 3 p.m. And so I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go back to work after that or if you know I'm gonna just leave from the training. But today is Thursday, February the first, and I'm feeling better. But I don't know how I'm going to be feeling once I go inside the office. And so that's pretty much it for today's vlog i am going to continue getting ready for work and then i will talk to you all next time again thank you so much for returning to my channel make sure you subscribe like and comment peace out y'all